In this instructional video, you will learn how to incorporate two standards for one lesson. We're focusing on literature and in science. The first one we're using literature standard, and that's the reading standards for informational text. It's going to be identify the main purpose of a text, including what the author wants to answer, explain, or describe. The second standard is also science, and this is a science standard to make observation of plants and animals to compare the diversity of life in different habitats. So let's get started. We're discussing about bats. We have been learning about bats, and today we're going to dig into deeper of what the book told us. So let's focus on these three facts. There are three facts about bats. Bats are nocturnal. Bats use echolocation. And what do bats eat? Well, the first one we're going to discuss are bats are nocturnal. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means bats are sleep in the day and are active at night. There are other different nocturnal animals, such as raccoons and skunks. So when we are sleeping, bats are probably hunting or maybe taking care of their babies. The second one is bats use echolocation. Well, what is that? That is how they see. Look at this picture. This bat is using echolocation to look at the bee. Well, what do you mean? Well, echolocation, that's when bat sends out signals and it bounces off their prey and it sends signals back given the prey's location. It can tell how big, how fast, and where they're located. What do bats eat? That's a good question. Bats eat tons of insects and fruit. They love different types of insects such as mosquitoes and moths. In this picture, you'll notice this is a fruit bat eating an apple. After your lesson about bats, what can you do with your class after the instruction? Well, here are some examples. Introduce Stella Luna by Janelle Cannon. This is such a great book about a baby fruit bat. It also explains echolocation and what she eats as a fruit bat and many other things about how she's different from birds. This is a wonderful book and I recommend it for any grade actually, especially K through second. Once you're done with the, reading the book, you can do this worksheet. It's what do you know about bats? It's what they know, what they've learned, and what they want to know. There's also a true and false a worksheet that you can do. It's true about bats, false about bats. You can have children do a word wall. You can um, ask them what bats can do, what they have, what they are. The children can answer. Bats can fly. Bats can use it echolocation, they have eyes, fur wings, and they're mammals and nocturnal. This is a great way to go over. Then you may use art too as well. Here's a picture of a bat and they use the bat facts. Another great um, thing to do is let them draw a bat and then write a story or write sentences about a bat. I hope you find this instructional video helpful and one day when you're ready to get batty in your classroom, and teach about bats, I hope this instructional video can help you further your children's education. Thank you so much.